It is true I had chickens in my backyard when I was a kid. Uh, my, my mom and dad had a, a chicken coop in the back and we had fresh eggs all the time. It was great. I'm not sure if the neighbors really liked the rooster. And I know uh, my older brother, if he'd have a, a late night out, uh, I, I don't think he appreciated the rooster. But, uh, you know, it, it was great. You know, I, I grew up in, uh, in Charleswood, uh, born in, in, the, in, the, in downtown. I was born on Logan Avenue and moved out to Charleswood when I was a kid. And uh, one of the things that I really liked about growing up there was kind of that rural feel. And so we had a tree house in the back, a horseshoe pit, a fire pit, and uh, yeah, we had chickens as well. I've been to four, four Van Halen concerts. I've seen uh, one David Lee Roth, two Sammy Hagar, and one Gary Sharon. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, but the, you know, the, the David Lee Roth was, was awesome. I met my wife, uh, Tracy, in a political studies class at the University of Manitoba in uh, University College. It was about 20 years ago. It was a great class. I didn't get the top mark there. I think Tracy may have, but I got uh, a beautiful life partner and, and wife and Tracy, and uh, we've been together ever since. I am a swimmer. Yeah, I, uh, I used to swim for the Bisons, and uh, I, so I, you know, I've been swimming for the Manitoba Masters team. Although I haven't been in the water a lot recently, but uh, yeah, I love competitive swimming. I love racing. Uh, I do butterfly, I do freestyle, breaststroke. Uh, I'm not a great backstroker. Uh, I'd like to be able to see where I'm going. And uh, our kids are doing swimming lessons, and I, I hope they try speed swimming. You know, we'll see if they if they get into it or not. But uh, Tracy was a lifeguard. I was a lifeguard. It all paid through, you know, when I was going to undergrad at the University of Manitoba, uh, I was swimming for the Bisons, but I was also managing the swimming pool. And that was my first managerial leadership job, was actually managing the what is now called the Joyce Fromson pool. And, uh, you know, the, the skills that I learned there, the skills that I learned as a Bison athlete, uh, still stick with me in terms of setting goals, in terms of being disciplined, and uh, also having the ability to work with others, others on your team. Oh, good question. Uh, Hayden, uh, we, we named Hayden, um, <laughs> there's a bit of a Star Wars connection. Hayden Christensen played uh, Darth Vader and, uh, and Anakin Skywalker and we thought it was a pretty cool name. Um, we also just thought it sounded nice. Uh, so Hayden's name is Hayden Thomas Bowman and Thomas is my mom's maiden name. The family, uh, the Thomases are from Victoria Beach. And uh, Austin, uh, Austin really, uh, I was trying to think. Austin was just, we just thought it sounded nice. You know, uh, we named him Austin Heath Bowman. Uh, we've been to Australia and we, we uh, have uh, an affinity for some of the Australian names that we heard while we were there. And Heath is a very popular boy's name in Australia. And so uh, we, we, we named him Austin Heath Bowman. Uh, I quantify success as a father in terms of their happiness and their fulfillment in life. I don't care what they do for a living. They don't have to be lawyers. They don't need to be politicians. I just want them to do what makes them happy and makes them feel fulfilled as human beings. And I want them to do something that, that helps others uh, in whatever it is. And uh, I think that's probably the most important thing. I, I see su success uh, you know, as a dad in how they treat their mother and how they treat women. Uh, I, I want to make sure that they're respectful to, to all people, but especially their mom and and uh, and, and, and others. Um, and I see them just caring about the community and caring about other people. Having empathy for people is incredibly important. It's something that uh, we're trying to really instill in our in our children right now. That's a good question. You know, I, I think I think it. Uh, you know. In terms of how it will affect uh, my family being there, I think, you know, time will, will tell if we get the opportunity. I don't think anybody, I mean, anybody and all of the people that are running have never served as mayor. So it's going to be an adjustment for everybody. Um, I see, you know, trying to involve my family as much as possible. And they've been coming out to a lot of things during the campaign. Compartmentalization of my time is something that I've had to work and, and learn in my professional life as a lawyer and even over the course of the campaign, making sure that I'm, I'm having that balance with family, which really gives me my grounding and is the most important thing to me as a human being, is, is having family 
and having my, my wife and my kids uh, know in, in their heart of hearts that uh, they're important, they matter to me and that I love them. And uh, so that's not going to change at all, whether I'm acting as mayor or, or doing something else in the future. If you have questions for me that you'd like to ask, use the hashtag AskBowman on Twitter. Give us a phone call, visit our website, bowmanforwinnipeg.ca, or pop in here to the campaign office. Thanks a lot.